It's me, Free Spirit is. Hi, it's me, Zena. And we're back again. About to chow down on some. Some foo foo. Foo foo. Yeah. And you know, everybody's been eating foo foo. So today we're going to be having some Asangsu, which is from Nigeria. Indigenous to the west side of Nigeria, indigenous to the ethnic people from Calabar. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited because it's like luscious vegetable soup, and I put like snails. You put everything inside this, so periwinkles. I'm just ready to eat. But what else? We got? Oh, goat meat. Goat meat. Goat meat. And we have plantain fufu, y'all. So I've been very patient. I know. I'm very patient. She's been really patient. So okay. So, like, a quick pan of the food. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's say grace and eat up. Okay. Lord, we just want to thank you for this food. Bless the hands that made it. As we eat this food, may it nourish our bodies. And we know that it's going to be so delicious. So we thank you for providing this food for us, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's let's eat. Short and sweet. Okay. All right. We got our water. We already washed our hands, but, you know, let's and just do a little to, So that it doesn't really stick. Yeah. I don't like when it gets sticky on my hands. Plus, the fresh rewash like is kids, always good. If you will. Ah, fresh rewash. I'm very excited about this soup. I know, me too. Oh, I find this my favorite soup. Because, you know why? Because it has, like, all the vegetables and all the orishibishi. I used to be nervous to say it, it was my favorite fruit. I'm my ready? Mom. I'm about to pour the soup. Okay. This is a Let's very move thick it back a little bit. vegetable soup. Wow. So here's the rule about this. When you already have your own fufu, that is portion to you, you have to eat your own portion all up. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's the rule. Is... Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <That's> a lot. <laughs> and look, she did what everybody we do, a pat the fufu. Like, I mean, if you don't slap it, it's, it, it's not real. See, it's we were real. just saying that. I was saying that last time that it's not necessary to pat it. It's not like a ritual it's, or something. It's, it's actually it's very necessary. Really? And you gotta give it a nice slap, maybe a nice little squeeze. What? Like, ta da you know? Before you eat it. Yeah, forget that. Right. I don't know why they do that. Well, I didn't know that. Well, guys, I'm about to tear into mine. Mine is like a little bit on the sticky side, I guess. Yeah, well, you know, softer. nice more water, I guess. But the vegetable is. soup is it's gonna go well with the vegetable soup. I made planting fufu, That's y'all. So good. And I put everything in this soup. And look how thick it is. Like, it's vegetable. Look at that, guys. Oh. The vegetation. Tell mm-hmm. me what it, what it tastes like. Is it tastes it like heaven. It's a good cook, y'all. That's this the best like, description I can give you guys. This is vegetable. Afang su. All vegetable. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. guys. I'm so sorry you couldn't be here with us today. <laughs> but, wow. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't wow. mean to toot my own horn. But toot toot. You know? Just toot toot. <laughs> Look so y'all. All healthy, beautiful. Mmm. Mm. And the plantain fufu just tops it off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know some people did that fufu challenge like way back, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but they haven't seen nothing yet. That was just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Of what we got. This right here, mm. you know, this is the real challenge. This right here is like the the mother of soups. This is the best soup if you want to talk about eating fufu. I feel like a goosey soup is the soup, like that's like everybody a falls soup. in love. Yeah, everybody falls because in love you know it's the, like you know it's like okay, it's a nice soup. Exactly. That's like and the soup you start everybody off with. Mm-hmm. You start everybody off with a goosey soup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then like that was my first love. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Mm-hmm. 
Favorite first favorite soup has always been like a goosey soup. I don't know, not one person doesn't like it. And when I was younger, I hated vegetable soup. I hated fufu. The only soup fufu I'll eat is. That was my worst soup, was vegetable soup. soup. That was little. I liked okra soup and obono soup. Those are my favorites. The first time I fell in love with um, vegetable soup, guess who made it? Who? You would never guess. No way. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. That is crazy. One of my other aunts that I used to live with. Mm-mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. I know. <laughs> you see? But me, I don't know the first time I fell in love with vegetable soup, honestly, but, and I don't know who cooked it, but. I don't think I ate it from anybody from the family. I think it, I ate it outside. Oh. And I was like, okay. This is what I want to eat when I'm eating vegetables. Mm. 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 But then I had a fang soup and it was just like, oh. I remember the first time I had a fang soup. Ooh, the My first time I Kalaba. had a fang soup was in Calaba. Mine was in... I think it was in Atlanta, actually, the first time I had it. Either really? Atlanta or, yeah, because my friend, she's epic. Mm-hmm. Her mom used to cook it all the time. Mm-hmm. And so I got to try some. Literally, after that, it was a wrap. I was like, yeah, Igusi Hu, like this soup right Yes, here, exactly. It changed my life, man. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was in Calabar, I want to say like three years back, or four years back, mm-hmm. I was on a stop. It's like, because I was on a road trip. So it was like a halfway stop or something. And we were hella starving. Mm-hmm. Me and my fiance at the time. My husband was my fiance at that time. And um, we stopped and ordered a function. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, we don't really eat fufu. I mean, we eat fufu, but it's not like a norm for us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, well, every time I'm here, you guys cooking it. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when I'm in Nigeria. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, this house is like, like a fufu fufu household. I cook fufu twice a month. I don't cook fufu all the time. Grandma cooks fufu. Mm. She cooks soup all the time. Me. Like twice a month, maybe. Mm. Sometimes once a month. Well, I was only here for a month. And I had it twice. <laughs> so it was left for me. That <laughs> was good, too. <laughs> but, like I was saying, we were hungry, you know? And so we stopped and asked for some food. And I was like, well, we're here. We're in Galabas. So let's eat Afang food. Mm-hmm. Let's eat it by the people who, it, you know, they make it. Hmm. Best decision ever. <laughs> we ate so much fufu. <laughs> and the fufu was pounded yam. Mm. And it wasn't just the type that comes in packets. You know, powdered, pounded yam. They actually took the, the yam. This was real it. yam that they boiled and then pounded. Mm. And then molded it into fufu. Oh my god. This was the best pounded yam and afang soup I ever eaten in my life. I'm jealous. The soup, and let me tell you, the vegetable part was cooked separate from the meat. Oh, they yeah. they cooked the the soup part with the vegetables with the fish and the mm-hmm. crayfish. And then all the meat they cooked in a stew mm. with tomatoes. And then they brought them out of the stew. And put it into the soup. Mm. And serve them alongside. Mm. With the soup and the fufu. So you got your meat from the stewed meat. I'm very envious right now. Oh my god, it was the mm. best. It was the best meal I'd I'm had. holding the snail for like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to savor this, you know? You know, it was the best, y'all. Look at this. This is some stockfish on here. You can't really see the shape of the snail. Mm-hmm. It's covered in soup and it's cut up. 
Yeah, yeah, I opened it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is not what a snail looks like in real life, but... Of course, it has a shell and everything. Yeah, you can't really see it. Mm-hmm. But it's going to go in my mouth soon, so... Here you go, snail. A split snail. But I don't know, something weird happened when we went shopping for the <laughs> snails. We went to a normal Southwest African market, and they mm -hmm. were all out of snails, both branches. And we had to get this from another African market, Wazubia. Which... You know, it was interesting. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God. It's either everybody's eating snails or they run out of snails. I think everyone's just eating snails. Because mm -hmm. you can't be an African market and not have snails. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. It's like part of the, you know, culture and part of what we eat. Mm -hmm. Not like escargot where it's like, just like in butter the and like and no butter. salt, no yeah. seasoning. I've had it before. It's actually kind of nasty. Like it mm. don't taste like anything. Mm. This type of snail, seasoned, mm -hmm. it's like delicate, nice, and just it's meaty, and it goes well with the food. Exactly. No offense mm -hmm. to escargot lovers. Just yeah. that. Once you have Nigerian snail, yeah, I don't you think you know can what go I'm talking back. about. Exactly. You know? <laughs> like for real though. Mm -hmm. The soup is good. Mm -hmm. See how delicate that is? I'm nice happy with tender. the soup. Mm. Seasoned to perfection. And this is such a delicacy in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. The snails. Like you have they're to have money big. Mm -hmm. They're usually yeah, a lot huge. bigger. That's probably also the difference. Maybe because escargot is like more like smaller. Like really mm, big like snails. snails. These are like massive gary from spongebob type snail like thick. <laughs> you know <laughs> it's a thick snail <laughs> <For real. laughs> scoop some soup in it for real <laughs> thick thick snail <laughs> <laughs> especially when you're traveling from Lagos to limo state mm -hmm. when you stop by edo when you stop and you do, the snails are like massive. And they're like super cheap there too. Mm. And a lot of times people will buy snails on their way to the east. You know people use yeah. snails as like a facial thing? Are you serious? Like how? Like the, the excretion, whatever the snails like, mm. like the excretion, like the, the slime. slime. Mm -hmm. mm. They put it on their face like as a mask. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it keeps them young and vibrant. Mm. Um, I guess maybe there's something in the slime that. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think it's, I don't know. Another bite for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. So, snail slime is the, the latest thing now. Apparently, they've been doing it. For how long? What? Mm -hmm. Snail slime? Mm -hmm. Wow. People Nothing don't need to be here. Really? But, like, snail People slime? People do anything to be young. If it, and especially if it works, why not? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta do a little more research on that, because if that's the case. But, uh... You, slime <laughs> red? you know what I'm saying? About to open a snail slime business. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I'm going to do a little more research. Mm hmm Whatever works, I guess. Mm hmm Hmm. Yeah, this is really good. Oh. <sighs> Ooh. Vegetable soup, fufu. Hey. <laughs> See, as you just throw your fufu <laughs> on. That's like serious enjoyment right there. When you're able to do that. You're really enjoying the food. Well, mm -hmm. you know? Mm, delicious. So, the enjoyment seems to... Mm. Mm. 
Big na. Come chop. Ah, look, I just started speaking broken. <laughs> <laughs> Make when I come chop means you guys should come and eat. Mm-hmm. Mm. Pigeon English. Mm-hmm. Which is a dialect. Like, is it all... Because I know the Ghanaians also speak. Yeah, Ghanaians also. Like it's, like a, it's like a West African thing, you know? Mm. Yeah, because... Um, yeah. I think it's a West African thing. Pigeon English. So... Mm-hmm. I'm amazed. <laughs> so good. You know, honestly, I'm surprised that I'm eating as much as I am because usually when I cook, my appetite is like zero. You know? Mm-hmm. So it's almost like I really just wanted to eat this. You know? That's why I'm eating it. But usually when I cook, the only reason why after I'm done, I don't really have much of an appetite is because. I eat while, <laughs> while, while I'm cooking, I'm eating. So by the time I'm done cooking, I've already eaten. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. But that's just me. That's my same problem. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because I taste as I'm cooking. You know, when you're cooking, you want to taste the food. You see if it tastes good and you're adding seasoning and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's how I cook. So... By the time I finish cooking the food, I've been tasting all the food. Mm-hmm. I'm not able to eat. <laughs> Goat meat, y'all. You can't really see it, but well, mm-hmm. it's it's covered in all sorts of stuff. Mm-hmm. You won't be able to see that. Crazy. Just a little bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Woo! Man, this soup was, it's just like, wow. Mm. Serious as fun. Billy tastes so good. Ah, no, you do not. <laughs> no, you do not. He does. Snail, y'all. Mm. 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 Okay. The stockfish. I think it was the tail part that I put in because it seemed like the bones was like everywhere. I used stockfish in this, y'all. Like little strips of stockfish. But I guess it was like tail strips that I was using. Or the fin part because there's a lot of bones from the fin and the tail. But overall, the soup was like really, really good. I think everything was. I suck out all the juice, mm-hmm. all the vegetables. <laughs> that seems like it's really good. Huh? <laughs> For people who hate noisy eating, this probably won't be for them. Mm-mm. It's like what? Just like the lip smacking and the mm-hmm. I'm a lip smacker. Snuff. I do too. Sometimes it just I depends. didn't know it was until someone pointed it out. It depends. To me, like I I can smack my lips sometimes when I'm eating or slurp something or suck something. I'm a slurper. You know, suck something out of the bone or something. Or suck the head off the crawfish or the... Yeah. I don't do it on purpose. I just... I don't like... That's how you eat. I don't like it. I remember one time I was eating near this girl. Technically, I was sitting there first. That's what I remember. And she came and sat down. And while I'm eating, all of a sudden, can you stop that? And I'm like, stop what? She's like, that noise. I'm like, what noise? And it's like, you're smacking your lips. And I'm like... I was I apologize like apologize for it. Second time she interrupted my meal again. <laughs> Second time was like oh interrupted hey my meal again. Then, no. And then she's like yeah like can you please like I really can't like I hate like it. are you that. serious right now? Sometimes I'm like um I was here first so I don't know. You might can move. 
Obviously, I cut, like I try. Well, I was really, I actually else? really tried to stop it. I didn't realize I was doing it, but I'm like at that point, it's too late. Like that's just that's when I discovered that I smack my lips when I eat. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Right. Long story short, she didn't get up. So she just sat there. While yeah, you she just her sat lips. there and then <laughs> and then just mean mugged me the entire time. Mind you, this is like my friend. Well, not really like acquaintance, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ooh, I'm full up. Look at me with the rules of the foo foo. You have to finish your foo foo before you get up. I know. I, I always, but that's like a, what we always say. Like, oh, so the rule is, like, whatever your portion is, you gotta be done with it. And I'm like, okay. But it never works out that way. But this soup really made me eat. Mm-hmm. I'm so. It's so tasty and just mm, and yum and it's healthy. It's just like the vegetables. Everything worked out so it's well. It's very hearty. Mm-hmm. It's a hearty soup. It's like a a soup that you know you're going to go back to. Mm-hmm. Like even though I'm full right now, I still want to have some later. Like when I get hungry or something, I want to mm-hmm. eat this too again. You know? Like even tomorrow, Definitely. I'm, 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 I'm finishing this challenge crazy. <laughs> you say, oh no, you you are welcome to it, sweetie pie. Are you kidding me? Just because I can't eat doesn't mean you can't. Jeez. Mm-hmm. The soup is good. Mm-hmm. I'm even proud of myself that I went this far because like, y'all. You barely touched your food. Stop it. I you were doing barely. baby pieces. Look, Were your food. pieces thick like mine? Yeah, I had like handfuls. Who mm. like all the way like this? And I ate like. I don't know, reach him, cause I don't know, Nah, uh, yours was just like. <laughs> <laughs> yours was like right there, right? I, I did well. Know. Look at me. Yeah, you did, did good. good. We both did well. I don't know what you complaining about. Mm. You tried. The soup was good though. You tried. Thank you. But this soup was fire. And the palm oil and the ogiri and the everything just works so well. The soup. spice level. It's beautiful soup. Definitely gonna have it for breakfast tomorrow. Mm-hmm. This is the type of soup that you'll be Dance like dance. You'll be dancing and you'll be asking in the morning, do I, hey, where's that soup? <laughs> do, you do you know the last time I did that was when I was in Nigeria? That was like yeah, I know y'all like, damn, her accent just keeps clicking in and out. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in Nigeria in 2007, mm-hmm. like, one of my cousin's girlfriends had made this okra soup with this bush meat that we caught in the yard. Yes, we got bush meat in the yard. Bush meat. What is bush meat? Okay, so bush meat is like just wild animals just in there and, you know, in the bushes and stuff. But and all healthy proteins. They're all healthy proteins. They're all good proteins. You know, like wild rats or wild... Rabbits. Like, rabbits or mm-hmm. like um, grass cutter, you know. Mm-hmm. The normal stuff. Yeah. So we caught one of those. And Before they said that we're spreading. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, no, it's not on the list. <laughs> of deadly disease spreading animals, no. It's, it's on the regular list. Though. Yeah, it's just, like, it's just like catching a deer, you know? Anywho. So, um, we made it with okra soup. She made okra soup. Mm. And I don't know, it was like she put her foot in it or something. It's the best dang on soup. Oh my God, we ate and ate that night. <laughs> we ate so much food. And after eating, all of us passed out because it was such a good dinner. The soup was so amazing. The meat was so delicious. You know, because they, you know, they smoked the meat and everything and so you had the smoky flavor as well, you know? Mm-hmm. And she had got, excuse me, mm-hmm. some like dry fish and some other stuff. Oh, the next morning we all lined up. We were like, <laughs> where's the soup? We all wanted fufu for breakfast. <laughs> and we all had fufu for breakfast the next day. We really did. <laughs> That would have been something for me to try because I don't really like opera soup like that. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's not like one of my favorite. I eat it, but it's not one of my favorites. It's, I would have it's, to try her. If, 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 if it wasn't one of your favorites, I think you would have still liked it. Mm-hmm. And if it, it was your it, favorite, ha, you would have been in heaven. Mm-hmm. 
and I was in heaven because I was lined up the next day, y'all. I was like, where is a soup? Yeah, I like the more leaf. I love soups. okra. I love I like okra. More like, the, like the bitter leaf soup. Not really a hot. I don't really like a hot soup. To be honest, a hot soup is not that like one of my favorites either. Yeah, but like the leafy soups are the ones that I like. I like vegetable soup, but my favorite vegetable soup is this one, Afang soup. Mm. I love yeah. okra soup, and I love egusi soup. Ah, well, let me be honest. Egusi soup was the first one that everybody is like, oh my god, I love this soup. It's so good. Egusi soup is really good, and you know what? There's so many levels of egusi soup. Mm. It just depends on how you cook it. And everybody cooks there differently. Mm -hmm. And everybody has like a secret ingredient too That's that they true. add to theirs, which mm -hmm. makes their egusi soup taste different from somebody else's egusi soup. So every egusi soup is different, you know? So, and so it's kind of like that with every soup. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. And so that's the thing with the soups, you know? So some people, they're I like, the oh, soup. you know, I, I like this kind of soup or this kind of soup. And some people like all the soups, and some people are very specific of which ones they really like and the ones they can't stand. But me, my favorites, no matter, like, I mean, it does matter how it's cooked because I'm a foodie. So if it's not tasty, I'm not going to bullshit you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> I'm not one to swallow something that doesn't taste good. And I don't disrespect people. So if I feel like it's not going to be good, I'm not even going to try it because I don't want to disrespect the person. <laughs> yeah, because I just don't believe in disrespecting people. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't like something, you know, like... <clears throat> like, if you look at something and you're like, oh, I mean, this looks really sh shady or this doesn't look like something I want to want, don't try it. Because if you try it and then you don't like it, you don't know if how the person who offered it to you feels if you like reject it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So don't go trying something that you're not familiar with or you don't think that you're going to enjoy. You know what I'm saying? We just say I'm full. Yeah, you can be like, like, oh, you know, thank I thought you, I could eat but, this, but I'm really full. I'm really not able no to. Room. And even though they say sometimes, oh, if you reject it, then that means you're being disrespectful. But I feel it's better for you to reject something than for you to eat it, eat it and then spit it out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I've spat out food before, but not in their face, though. I eat. In secret. Yeah, well, you know, exactly. Like doing that to somebody after they've joyfully doing it ordered. To they did it to me. Oh, somebody spat that. No, spat the your food, food that out. they gave me, they're the ones who did it to themselves. They did. <laughs> I don't understand. Why would you give me such food? <laughs> I didn't do anything to them. They did something to me. They made me eat that nasty food. And now I gotta be nice and pretend that it tastes good. That's not nice. That's not kindness. <laughs> but what oh, you're saying is nasty because you think it's nasty it doesn't mean that it's nasty. I bet. Well, I'm just saying. I'm Everybody's not, taste buds is different. I've had some food that, in all honesty, mm -hmm. I'm not a picky eater. Mm. It was trash. <laughs> Straight garbage. And I think everybody has experienced that, too. I have, I know. But then that's not, that's not to say that, you know, because also there's some food that is cooked well, but maybe that's just not, like, my palate. My palate just doesn't really like it, or it's just an acquired taste. Uh -huh. That's different. Yeah. Food that shouldn't. If there's no acquired nothing. This should just taste good. Yeah. No and, matter who eats it. Uh huh. You put it in your mouth and you just want to die. <laughs> That's not okay. And there are people out there who cook like that, and I have experienced that. And you so know, so food what? like that is like okay. That one is like I'm not gonna openly tell them your food is just I don't. disrespectful. I don't. Stay away from the kitchen. I just, I just, you know, I'm just like I'm full, or I ate before I. Came. They know the truth. It doesn't matter. Cause you were I so will excited. never say you're so your excited food to is eat trash. It. All of a sudden, you're you're full. <laughs> <laughs> I would never look. All of a sudden, oh, oh, I can't have another bite. Oh. Let me tell you something. Another. Only <laughs> from experience. Let me tell you something. I knew somebody when I was growing up that could cook and cook and cook and cook. Spend the whole day cooking, right? And make the food look so appetizing and amazing, y'all. And it would. You would see it and be like, oh my God, I can't wait to sink my teeth into this food. 
And then all of a sudden, you ate the food, and it was like you didn't understand how it was possible that the food couldn't have flavor <laughs> because you saw it, and it was beautiful. <laughs> this has happened to me, y'all. Looks can be deceiving. And I didn't understand it because it was like, but this looks like a beautiful piece of fish. And it was fried to perfection. And it had tomatoes and onions on it. And it looked oh, gorgeous. Oh, needed some salt? And it smelled so amazing. And it smelled like it was so well seasoned. But it didn't have any flavor. <laughs> it was like... I'm sorry you went through what? that. I'm so sorry. Okay, this has happened to me so many times. And I'm just like, is it that they don't taste the food when they're cooking it or what? So what'd you do? I just, you know, choked down the piece that I had and stopped eating. You choked. <laughs> I stopped eating. And then from then, from that day forth, I never ate there again. And if they invited me to eat, I was absent. Mm -hmm. So what happened to the food? Did they, like, have to, they, were you eating with other people or what? Yeah, everybody was there. So you didn't have to, like, you, it was easy to hide. Oh, okay. So no. not the one where you have your own separate plate and they're No, watching. it wasn't like it was a dining table and they I served see. you food. It was kind of like, okay, everybody, get your food, help yourself. And it was just kind of like, oh, no. Interesting. Oh, no. You know, it was just really crazy. That's and I thought that was just something that happened to me when I was younger. You know, maybe it was just one incident and it was maybe an accident. And just, you know, you leave a little bit of salt. You know, my mom, she would take stuff to go and put salt in it, and it still didn't make any sense. <laughs> and I was just like, I don't understand. When salt can't like, even save it, that's when you know. The I was happens. like, I don't get you it. Just throw it away. That's I it. said, how is it possible for you to cook something Add salt and that still. looks so beautiful and smells so amazing that's but doesn't sad. have any taste? It ha is that possible? That's sad. If it's possible, can you guys please comment down below? Because I swear this happened. Not only once, but twice in my lifetime. That's unfortunate. When I was a teenager and as an adult, mm. I had somebody cook for me a soup that was very familiar and simple. And I'm not going to mention the soup because then if the person who cooked the soup is you watching... You don't remember the soup. I don't Maybe know. they don't remember that they cooked it for you. I don't I'm even want sure to think about it. Say the soup. Now that you've talked about the details <laughs> of remembering, <laughs> are not soup. remembering that if the person is watching, they'll probably figure it out. But it was years ago. They don't know. Oh, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> now you got to say the soup. Say the soup. What soup was it? I'm not saying the say. soup. Say they won't just they won't know they won't know oh they'll know okay tell me this one i can't tell you this i won't tell that on camera i'm sorry guys i can't because i know the minute i say the soup the person is gonna know whoever it is and if they're watching well i don't want to call anybody what about your feelings we're here trying to protect their feelings what about you you went through the experience you're the victim you had to eat it she's like an instagram insta no but i have a point Gata. You went through something. What this is your chance to, to vent. You went I through a traumatizing went, experience of eating that food. I went through an experience that, it was I, had, traumatizing. that I had experienced before. Are you okay? Again, I'm fine. See, it's just amazing, though. I just feel like talking about it's going to make you feel better. <laughs> talking to the people they can be in the You're comments. You're the worst person <laughs> ever. She's I want to go so She's bad. So You'll know, but not now. But like I was saying, y'all. I, want to know I just Karen. didn't understand it. So I didn't understand how she could cook this soup and it didn't taste like what it looked like. I really want you. Okay, you know what you should do? What? Tell me who it is. Oh, in my you, ear? But, but you know, you wouldn't know who it is. Oh. Yeah. So then, if I don't know the person. But I'm not, it doesn't matter though, because if I, even if you don't know who it is, I don't do know. Do they live in America? No, they don't. But it, but YouTube, it goes all over the <laughs> world. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. It. Are, are you sure I don't know the person? <coughs> no, you don't know. Have I person. heard of the person? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ooh, this water is so good, y'all. Guys, I need to learn how to not be nosy. I don't know where I get this from. And it's so cold, y'all. I don't know where I get this behavior from. <laughs>
So it looks like it's gonna be time for us to wrap it up. No, I knew it. I was trying. She was like, "Yeah, I'm I about to like check." I really thought I could look. How, I really got close. Like, look how much Girl. I have. Just a little bit left. Like, this is like what five more bites. Five. Girl, that's like five bites. Yeah, it's like, but I could have like I really thought I could do it. But yours, yours is still that's a whole meal. You, you ain't touch yours. But we did well. I did well. Yeah, you did well. I did well. You tried. You did way you better tried. than me, hunty. You tried. This is a whole meal for two more people. But I have to say, I did well. You know, you know, because I cooked the food, and yeah. I normally don't eat that much, so I did well. We really did. We tried. We tried. Yeah. We tried. We did our best. But you guys, please do me a favor and like this video. If you like this video, just go ahead and do that, and then subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Those of you who are my returning subscribers, thank you guys for coming. Yeah, I appreciate y'all <laughs> coming to watch this video. Y'all don't forget to hit the notification buttons so that every time we make videos, you guys will be notified. Thank you for joining us today. Right? This was fun. Yes, it was. And y'all have a blessed week. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah. I'm ready for a nap. Deuces. <laughs>